Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, it is actually late. We have a time change coming up now, so it's yeah. I'm gonna keep it relatively short in order to get enough sleep, cause we wanna switch as quickly as possible to new regimen. Yep, I'm wearing a black Roma shirt, uh, and black is kind of how I feel at the moment, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, not gonna go through many results now, we'll uh, run through these when time is ripe uh, at the end of the weekend when we when I do the usual roundup. Um, I actually saw two full games, I want to say almost three full games today, although I didn't really, I only planned for two and so many other all over the place so uh, that was actually kind of interesting it helps when the kids have visitors and they are playing and playing and playing and playing and I decided after rather went full morning to take it easy and watch soccer what better they are to do especially with a dear wife around uh, First thing that I saw was most of the second half of Fulham against City, where City already was at a 2 0 lead, hadn't seen the goals. I think Fulham had a few half chances, but it was clear that City is going to win that one. So it kind of started off, I really wanted that City drops points at Fulham, uh, which yeah was never that big of a chance to go. I um, have to say, I still love those away jerseys by City, and if I wouldn't be so against City this time around, this season, I'm not against City per se, uh, except I don't like the whole um, yeah, Emirati setup and so on. That, that, that would rub me wrong, but those jerseys are absolutely gorgeous. And I saw them actually for 45% off uh, this last week in the store. Um, Give me a little bit more percent and I um, might actually get get it because it's a team that I'm not actively supporting. Uh, I But I already made uh, at least one purchase for this month. Um, that is going to be specialist from the same brand Nike, but I'm not going to say it now. So yeah, that was the first one. Then I switched over. I really wanted to watch the Barcelona Derby. That seemed to be one of maybe even the standout game today in a weird way. Um, but you know, up until then, I watched a little bit of Udine against Genoa. Udine had an early lead, um, more or less had control of the game from what I could see without being, you know, really convincing going forward. In the end, they win 2 0. Um, and yeah, the Barcelona derby oh, was a little bit of a tedious match, and it was really interesting because, uh, rarely ever could you see a formation so well on the field as this time around. Espanyol played in a 5-4-1 and most of the time five at the edge of the box and immediately four ahead of those five. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy how and Barcelona always had to play around, couldn't really find a breakthrough. I think biggest chance in the first half was a, a wide range shot from Rakitic which is what you need and something similar happened in the second half. I don't think there were really that many great chances. It was a really tedious match where Barca had a hard time getting into the box and yeah what did it take he first took a free kick at the very edge of the box i mean just uh, half second uh, later the tackle and that's a penalty um and messi scores one of the craziest free kicks that i've seen um he basically lobs it in and what makes it in addition interesting is that a player from the Espanol wall is backtracking and tries to head it out or tries to head it towards the goalkeeper and it goes in the internet. I think an argument can be made that it was actually an own goal and not a Messi goal. Uh, but I wanna, I'm very willing to give this one to Messi just for the simple reason that just lobbing it over. I actually have a, have a feeling, even if that uh, defender would not have backtracked towards the goal, that this would have uh, gone in uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, and yeah, then in uh, Messi makes the second one after Maxwell makes a um, cross in, taps it home, 2 0 for Barcelona, which is, of course, the right result. And now, 10 years without a um, loss to Espanyol, 
it is probably one of the most one-sided derbies that's out there overall so what can you actually say um, it is what it is but yeah it's always you know you always can watch Barcelona literally you can always watch Barcelona as long as Messi is there uh, there will be something special happening and for me this free kick was actually something quite special uh, yes maybe the communication between the goalie and the defender could, could have been a little bit better I'm convinced if the defender doesn't backtrack the goalie doesn't get there absolutely certain about that and the goalie was actually standing in the other corner so it, it was a, it, it, it was a weird thing to see um, also a little bit weird but I actually like that both teams play in the first uh, in the home jerseys or first jerseys just as they all have to play in with white pants and white socks but um, it looked overall fine can I say then what up next yeah uh, Juve against Empoli that one I saw also pretty much complete and I gotta say Juve did not put much effort in uh, I think Bernadeschi came twice close um, Empoli in the first half was actually quite there and he needed a goal from Moise Kane who came in makes his goal again for uh, Ju Juventus and becomes a real option in attack almost out of nowhere I mean until before the international break when he scored the two goals um, not many have heard of him I would say also uh, I called him at the last video of when he was talking about Moise Keane because K-E-A-N for me is Keane but of course he's Ken uh, which I found uh, weird, but okay, this Moise came. Um, Juve gets a very simple one year win. And um, then, you know, just to bridge, I didn't see much, but I saw a second goal uh, Western against Everton, where I saw the 2 0 uh, goal to Everton. Seemed to be a really nasty performance by West Ham, and you gotta blame this. For many, many, for many things, you gotta blame Arnautovic, honestly, with his whole transfer theater that uh, he did in the winter break to go to China because he wants to win titles and all that. That completely got him off track, and in a way, got Western a little bit. Uh, you know, they don't have now this super special element going forward, and even more so Austria. Uh, he made two goals against Israel, but um, he. Is seriously lacking and I want to give him some how to say I want to give him some leave because he has really been carrying Austria for a long time but um, I still find this was the wrong decision and then I watched the game that meant most to me uh, this weekend and that was of course oh, not weekend at least the day probably well, weekend although the uh, Liverpool Spurs matchup tomorrow is also interesting Sampdoria Milan. And at the point that the game started, my fam my kids, my wife brought, put the kids to bed. I gave them kisses. I turn around and it's already 1-0 and I didn't even see the goal. And then I saw the replay and I'm off. Back pass Romagnoli to Donnarumma. Donnarumma wants to play it out. And there is De Frel being He shoots right at De Frel and it deflects into his, uh, his own net. Absolutely deflating goal, and I know the one real weakness that Don, Don, Donnarumma have has on his feet. He is, has great reactions, he has great control of the box, he is uh, quite good falling down, anticipating all the kind of things. It's absolutely one, wonderful, but don't give the ball to his feet. And I had already this kind of foreboding uh, with Sampdoria really being aggressive, especially in the first 30 minutes or so. I mean, Milan really couldn't get any good game going literally there was not much coming from milan um but they've clawed themselves into the game they had an appeal for penalty where there was a yellow card given I remember that uh then i think a, was a shot by Souza and the one by musakio that got kind of deflected and you are already got the feeling this is not going the right way and second half exactly the same uh, good shot by Suso then Sampdoria 
I've shot by some Doria Galliarella gets uh, deflected onto the bar. So lucky there. Uh, Donnarumma makes another save, but then also Musaki almost makes a similar mistake to uh, put the ball in the net. Also, and then uh, once Kutrone come 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 came on, I still was there. Still was something missing for Milan going forward. It was not as fluid. Yes, they had their chances, and maybe if Jalanoglu plays the ball faster, and because everyone knows that he will shoot with his right foot. Um, and with a little bit of luck, you could get an equalizer, which personally, yes, I'm a Milan fan, so not so, but I felt that a uh, draw would have been justified. But I had this foreboding, it's not going to be Milan's uh, night. And then uh, there was this one call, or non call on Piontek, where he goes in the box. Is it a penalty? Is it not a penalty? He claims, of course, he was taken down. And if you watch the replay, at the, especially the one from the side at first, it really seems that, yeah, there's no contact with the ball, but when you see it from behind and from above, the defender probably touches the ball just. And also from that angle, it doesn't, it seems more like um, a regular tackle than you would give a foul. And so the more you saw it, the less it was a penalty. Of course, Musaki is protesting. We got another ye ye yellow card for a penalty not given, although referee clearly VAR and so on. You don't need to argue on that any anymore. And I have to say, Milan argued way too much. Way too much. I mean, um, I know you want to get in your referee's head, but this was a referee that I really had the feeling he had everything under, under control. And yeah. Donnarumma made also a save to prevent um, Tunio for Sampdoria, which surely would have sealed the game. And it ends 1-0 for Sampdoria based on a horrible mistake, and I'm going to call Donnarumma Donna Blooper uh, today, because that was a real blooper. Uh, absolutely horrible mistake. Um, and yeah, the race for fourth spot gets tighter again, and Milan might soon be on the way out. I am not as surprised as many others will be because honestly when I saw Milan, even when they were winning, when they're having the big winning streak, they didn't play all that great that I felt very comfortable and confident in them. Well, that's what I saw for today. Let me know which games you watched um, and if for the games that I watched and you watched as well, do you agree with my assessment or I mean, I'm wrong, whatever. I'm always happy to hear in both directions. Uh, your comments again for the Santoria game. I am, of course, my colors are tinted black and red. Just the way it goes. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for some more updates. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.